Hey there, swim fans. Welcome to another workout of the week. Today's workout is 2,500 yards. It'll take 52 minutes to complete, and we're focusing on the early vertical forearm, EVF. Basically, you're focusing on that initial catch that you make with the water. Today's workout has a warm-up, a preset, where we're gonna focus on some drills, really focus on engaging the forearm to grab that water as early as possible in the stroke. We've got a main set and then a cool down. Today's workout, the only equipment we're gonna need are some paddles, a pair of fins, and of course, our hands and feet. I'll be rocking the My Swim Pro World Swim Day swim cap, so really excited about that. I wrote today's workout in the My Swim Pro app, and I'll be following it on my Apple Watch to get my real-time heart rate and stats while I'm in the pool. Today's workout is all about swimming efficiently, improving our technique, distance per stroke, feel of the water. Let's go do it. My heart rate went all the way up to 174 beats per minute. We're gonna walk through the workout set by set. We're gonna talk about the drills that I did to improve my catch, improve my early vertical form. And we're gonna do that all with the My Swim Pro app on real data collected with the Apple Watch. Everything from my heart rate, my distance per stroke, my stroke count. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash the like button hit the subscribe, and let's get right into it. So I call the workout early vertical forearm focus because that's what we're working on, the catch, the pull phase of the stroke. The warm-up set, we had four 100s freestyle on the 130 in the easy energy zone, nice and smooth. Now I averaged about 110 on each of these. Uh, the splits show 120 on a couple of those. I was fiddling with the camera trying to move it and get the best shot, but I averaged about 110 pace if I'm just cruising. Again, I'm swimming in a 25 yard pool. Uh, the next set was with fins. I did 650s kick in streamline on my back and the goal was to go 10 meters or more underneath the water on every single 25. Every time I push off the wall, I work some dolphin kicks. I average about five to seven dolphin kicks, which takes me close to 15 meters per wall underneath the water. And that was in the moderate energy zone. And the last part of my warm-up set was 450s IM. If you're not sure what IM is, IM is short for individual medley. In this format, we go a 50 of each of the four competitive strokes, butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. It's a really important, uh, I believe, to do a little bit of every single stroke, every single time you swim. It develops a better feel of the water. It, it opens up the shoulder rotation for backstroke differently than you breaststroke and butterfly. It's really fun to do those strokes, especially uh, my favorite event is the 100 IM. So if you see that my splits, this was in the endurance zone. I averaged 31 on the fly. I went a 37 on the backstroke, a 36 on the breaststroke, and then a 35 on the freestyle. You might be wondering, wow, his breaststroke's faster than uh, his backstroke. That is correct. Uh, in training, at least, my breaststroke is a little bit better than my backstroke. Uh, I am a breaststroker, so uh, I am a little bit faster at that. Now, the preset is the moment we've been waiting for, focusing on the drills, the early vertical forearm. So the drill um, for this set, now if you notice, I did this two rounds through. We go 425s drill on the 42nd, and then we go 100 freestyle, where we build tempo. Now the 425s drill was really fun. Basically each 25, you're doing a different manipulation of the fist drill. The fist drill is one of my favorite drills to build a strong feel for the water, develop your early vertical forearm, your catch. So on the first 25, you just simply swim with a fist. It feels really slow. You feel like you're not going anywhere, but it's to really focus on catching the water with your forearm where you wouldn't normally catch the water with your, with your hand. Normally that's what you're used to. So after the first 25 in fist mode, then you go to the second 25 with your pointer finger. You focus on poking the water right in front of your shoulder, catch the water, um, and really focus on driving that initial catch with just your pointer finger, your fist, and then your forearm. The, set, the third 25, you go two fingers. So now you're adding a little bit more feel of the water because you're making your hand bigger, making the surface area bigger of your hand. The fourth 25, finally, is where you're in uh, this, this position. So you're going from two fingers to now three fingers, but you're getting your thumb engaged. And it's really actually uncomfortable. Um, I feel a lot faster actually swimming with just fist drill because this is so awkward in the water. And that's the point, is to make yourself a little bit more uncomfortable in the water so you can develop that feel by increasing the surface area gradually. Now after those 425s, we go right into a 100 freestyle where we're building tempo. And this is like all natural, no equipment. You're swimming with full hands. Your hands should feel really, really big. And I, I felt pretty good. I went uh, a 109 on round one and a 107 on round two. These hundreds were on the 130. If you're wondering how much rest I was taking between sets, I was programming this with the My Swim Pro app on the Apple Watch. So I took 30 seconds rest by default between each of the sets. 
and then 60 seconds rest between each of the set groups. So between the warm up and the preset, and between the preset and the main set, and between the main set and the cool down, there was a 60 second gap. But between the 425's drill and the 100 free, for example, in the preset, there is only a 30 second gap between those. Now we're ready for the main set. So we've got the drills out of the way, we've warmed up our, uh, our catch, and, and the whole point of doing the drills before the main set is to really acclimate the body and warm the body up for what it needs to do in the main set. So the main set, the focus was on freestyle, of course, that's what we worked on the drills. We go two rounds of a 200 freestyle, all natural, no equipment, on the 230 in the threshold zone. Then we go 450s, pull, uh, I should have written pull here, pull here, I use paddles on these, so I swim freestyle with paddles, and these were a best average, and I tried to descend from one to four, meaning I swim faster on each repetition of the four. So between set group one and set group two, I was able to actually swim faster, uh, gradually descending one through four, and also on set group number two, I swim faster than set group number one. So on the 200, I swam a 223 on the first uh, 200, all natural, it felt pretty smooth. And then I went right into 450s uh, with the paddles, I was trying to put a little bit more power behind the stroke, really feel that engagement with the water. I went 32, 30, 27, 28. I think the watch was a little laggy. I'm pretty sure I was a 27 on the last one. Give it to me, I don't know if you, you can decide. Leave it in the comments if I should get that 27 on the fourth 50. And then on round two, I went a 220 on the 200, a little bit faster, a little bit more effort, I was a little bit more warmed up actually after doing the high intensity 50s. Uh, my heart rate got pretty high on those 50s. And then on round two of the 450s best average, I was able to descend again from a 32 down to a 28. Um, and that was by effort, that was intentional, I was trying to swim faster. Um, the goal of you know, any of these sets where you do multiple set groups, two rounds or of three rounds or four rounds of anything, traditionally you wanna swim a little bit faster, you're more warmed up, and you wanna build into the main set. Uh, so that was really fun. And, and also having the drills beforehand allowed me to really catch the water and feel strong in the water. Now the cool down was fun because I did 450s uh, freestyle with fins and paddles on the 130. And you might be wondering why would you swim in a cool down fins and paddles? Again, I, my goal is to swim at close to race pace, better than race pace. And even when I'm cruising, I don't want to swim slow. If you want to swim fast, you have to train fast. So I'd rather than you know, swimming slow after a more intense uh, you know, aerobic main set that I had, um, you know, I want to swim a little bit faster, but I don't want to overly fatigue my body because it's a cool down, right? I'm not trying to swim super, super fast. So in the cool down, four 100s with fins and paddles, I was able to average about 102 um, on these hundreds. So if you look at my splits, I was spending a lot of time underwater, so the splits are a little bit fuzzy, but I was about 105, 104, 102, 59 on the last one. So if I didn't have fins and paddles and I were to do the same set, I would have to actually try harder to swim slower. So I might swim, you know, 110, 111, 112 if I'm just cruising, if I was doing it all natural, no equipment. With the equipment though, I was able to average 102. That's significantly faster, you know, comparing 102 to 112. And I finished in a 59. I was under a minute on my last 100 cooldown. And again, these are times that I wouldn't be able to swim at that rate of speed and that level of technique, that reduced stroke count, if I didn't have the equipment. Do I swim with the equipment on every single cooldown? No, not really. I would say maybe 20 to 30% of the time, I'll use some piece of equipment in my cooldown. Whether that's doing you know 850s with paddles, or maybe I'll swim with fins, depends on what I did in the main set and the preset, and also the day before and the day after. So in this workout, you know, it's 2,500, yards, it took me about 50 minutes to complete in a 25 yard pool. It really focused on developing an early vertical form with those drills, the fist drills, they're a lot of fun. You can do a lot of hand variations. Now I did use equipment in this training, uh, training workout. You don't need to use any equipment, you can do the same workout and adjust the intervals in the MySwim Pro app. Follow the same plan. I did use you know, paddles and fins, which I will link in the description below if you wanna pick up the pair um, off the web of, of equipment that I was using. Um, I'd also like to point out that my heart rate did max out at 174 on this workout. Uh, it was really, really intense. That was at the end of the 450s on round two. So I was really pushing myself, trying to max out my effort on round two of the main set. Uh, if you're interested in following more workouts like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this a, a like. And if you have any questions about this workout, 
training in general, or any other types of workouts that you would like to see me perform or analyze, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this workout of the week. Signing off, happy swimming to you all. We'll see you guys later. Bye.